Okay, welcome back to Climate TV. I'm Eduardo Gonzalez from the Climate Group, and I'm joined here today by Jim Rogers, the former CEO of Duke Energy. Mr. Rogers, thanks for joining us. First of all, can you tell us, in your view, what's the role of business in tackling climate change? I think the role of business needs to be front and center. It needs to be the driver. I mean, we're huge. Um, we have a huge impact. Plus, our leadership makes a difference to others. So I believe that business needs to lead the way. In the business that I was in, in the power sector, they need to be in front of the leaders in the business group. And what would you say are the main barriers to adopting, say, renewable energy or clean technology, smart infrastructure? I mean, what are the things that are preventing companies from moving forward and how can they be addressed? I think the first thing that most companies see is if they go from the existing grid to a renewable structure, the prices will go up. The good news is the prices of solar and wind are declining, and so that cost delta is not as great today as it once was. It will be even lower in the future. And what about the politicians? What can policy do to help encourage and incentivize businesses to you know, make that switch? Well, as we've been talking, there's a need for leadership from the energy sector as well as from corporations. But that leadership only matters when the government steps up and creates policies that basically incent and reward people for stepping forward in addressing the climate issue. Now you've got a new book out, Lighting the World, and you argue that there is a way that we can roll out solar energy to 1.2 billion people around the world. Tell us about that. Sure, and thank you for reading the book. <laughs> but my belief is, is that we need to address this issue because with access to electricity, we start on the road of lifting these people from poverty and allowing them to play a meaningful role in society. I only imagine the number of Steve Jobs, the number of Bill Gates, they're in that 1.2 billion. And so we need to bring them into the game. And it's not one of those false choices of you know, renewables, versus bringing them from poverty. Today, with the cost of renewables is at the current level and falling, especially solar, and the rise of storage technology, we're now at a place where we can bring electricity to these villages, we can scale it in a way that matches their capability to pay and their desire for more electricity, and we're doing it using solar electricity. Now, you're a businessman. What do you want other business leaders to be doing to play their part in tackling the climate challenge? I think we need to recruit and engage every CEO, every sustainability officer, every corporation in the U.S. and around the world. If we do that, we're on the way to solving this problem and preparing ourselves for a better future. And finally, this is the big year for climates. We've got the climate conference coming up in Paris in a few weeks' time. What do you hope to see coming out of that event? I believe what you'll see is commitments at both the city level, at regional levels, and you'll see countries stepping up and making commitments. So my belief is there's going to be a web of commitments that when you pull them all together, you're going to see most of the world engaged in solving this problem. Jim Rogers, thank you very much. Well, speaking there to Jim Rogers, former CEO of Duke Energy, that's all we've got time for today. From all of us at the Climate Group, goodbye.